My people not be smart, you know. Hey, hey. Christian leaders don't come outside, though. Christian leaders don't talk, say. Me Tinubu, if Tinubu no say, he won't continue to, he won't rule for Nigeria. Me Tinubu tell Shetima to step down for Christian vice. He said, Muslim, Muslim, no go work. Hmm. A lot of people talk, say, now, now this Christian leader's eyes open me. Eh? Now what we say inauguration don't they reach? Where I neck don't declare Tinubu and Shetima say now then win this 2020, uh, 2023 election. Now that time the Christian group cut us say the statement where we say Shetima make they not like him. Make Shetima step down for Christian vice before the inauguration. My people why that won't say possible. My people, a lot of people they talk say ah. Christian leaders, they give 48 hours. Make sure team has stepped down for Christian vice. <laughs> my people, why are not they finished for this country? Now, different thing that we can't see for Nigeria now, my people. Now, different thing, my people. A lot of people, they talk, say, hey, hey. Where they won't start from? Where one case, they for court? Where other party, they drag Tinubu? Where, where did they talk, say, okay, oh. Uh, inauguration, no. Say they no go feed one for May twenty nine. Now there another group. They talk come and say, say, okay, if Tinubu one one rule where they, where he wants me Buhari transfer power, give him more. Say Shetima, he no go be Nigeria vice president. So he may they go bring Christian own or else he no go possible. My people make one go hear from Christian group. Make one see the thing where we say they tell Shetima. Where they tell Shetima? Say Shetima. That position is not go possible. Say me Tinubu go carry another Christian vice. My people make me go watch the video. Text of a press conference by the Coalition of the Middle Belt Youth Leaders in response to Senator Kashim Shektima, the Vice President elect of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on the 18th of May, 2023. Our attention has been drawn to an attempt by Senator Kashim Shatima, Vice President-elect, to a statement which in our perception is targeted to ridicule Christianity as well as deceive and or manipulate Nigerians, particularly the elected members of the 10th Assembly as they prepare for the elections of leaders of the National Assembly in a matter of weeks from now. Senator Kashim Shektima is reported on 13th May 2023 as having consulted the elected legislative members of the 10th Assembly that the Senate President and the Speaker of the Federal House of Representatives cannot be of the same faith because it will foil Islamization agenda narrative. This is a cunning way to attempt to hoodwink the elected lawmakers into accepting the zoning arrangement of the All Progressive Congress, APC, for the leadership of the 10th National Assembly. In his opinion, a situation where the Senate President and the Speaker of the House of Representatives are Muslim could validate the narrative, okay, the negative narrative of the Islamization agenda of Nigeria. Shaktima added that the leadership of the 10th assembly must be all inclusive because the stability of the nation is much more important than any under any other consideration. In his own words, Senator Shaktima said, what we are trying to avoid is a situation whereby the number number 1 citizens, number 2 citizen, the number 3 citizen, the number 4 citizen are all the same fate. That will lead, that will lend credence and validate the negative narrative of the Islamization agenda of Nigeria. Gentlemen of the press and great citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, hearing the above words, one will hear something of a patriot and great democrat in that code. However, it will have been better. Judge, so if this word from Senator Shetima came against the call for him to pick the vice presidential ticket alongside a Muslim in person of the president-elect, Bola Ahmed Aswaji Tinibu. 
Recall that there was immense tension at the announcement of Senator Shaktima as the running mate of Tinibu in, that, in, in, okay, in the months before the general elections. From the party organizations, associations, spirited individuals, and even from the international community, there were agitations against that ticket on the basis of the same threat to the nation's stability that Senator Kashim Shatima is basing his argument on today. Notably, on 5th of the September 2022, the leadership of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, outrightly registered her rejection of the Tinubu Shatima ticket on the basis of being a same faith ticket and a threat to the nation's stability as reported in Punch newspaper of same date. This day line report, Honorable Yakubu Dogara, on the 34th January 2023, a member of the APC then as saying that Muslim Muslim ticket will polarize Nigeria along religious tribal lines. Sahara reporter had a news item titled APC Muslim Muslim ticket is called to jihad shows supremacy of Islam in Nigeria. Kano preacher, Owl, tell congregation to vote massively, reported 6 January 2023, and also in channels television. Senator Kabiru Marafa, a member of the APC Presidential Campaign Council, is reported as having said that those against the Muslim Muslim ticket of the party are hypocrites treating the presidential race with bias. Against, with bias against Muslim Muslim tickets, a hypocrite says APC Presidential Campaign Council again. This was more than enough trigger of treats to the stability of the nations and the casual force so that is the appointment of Senator Shaktima as the running mate of Tinibu while all of this were happening, our dear vice president-elect was comfortable with the narrative that he was appointed on the basis of competence and stability of the nation was not a matter to sacrifice for them. We are surprised that Senator Shaktima, Kashim Shaktima, a Muslim from Borno who did not only lobby but accept to be vice to Asuajibola Ahmed Tinibu, a Muslim from the South could not advise his principle on the danger of running a same fate ticket in the executive arm of the nation's government, but suddenly found his voice against same fate leadership in the legislative, in the national, in the nation's legislative arm. It is equally alarming that Senator Kashim Shaktima could not think about stability of the nation when himself and his principal ran on a same faith ticket, thereby causing so much disaffection among citizens of the country along religious line as reported above and the many here not captured. We wonder why Shatima did not remember or think about the stability of the country when Bola Tinibu picked him and ran on a Muslim Muslim ticket. Where was this counseling ability when Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tinibu was searching for running mate? Why didn't he decline his nominations as running mate to Asiwaju for the sake of the stability of the nation? However, despite the Muslim Muslim tickets, Nigerians Muslim Christians alike campaigned for the ticket and voted for it not minding the fit. Suddenly, because of his parochial interest on the leadership of the National Assembly, he, con he is conscious to the, fact that, to the fact of threat to the nation's stability and feels bold enough to champion a war against same fit. If he was a Democrat, a patriot and a true leader who, whose interest is in the good of the nation, he would have suggested a mixed faith ticket for each arm 
of the nation's government and not only the legislative arm. This is to us a clear show of shamelessness and reckless disregard to the common interest of, for self-interest and in our opinion is true. Then Nigeria is of a right with a mind as this on the second most powerful seat in Nigeria. Mr. Vice President-elect, this problem was created by the executive and the legislature and cannot be used as a pound to solve this problem. As, patriot, as patriots and objective mind whose interest is the good of the nations, we hereby today warn Kashim Shatima to stop this manipulation and unnecessary incitement against the relative peace that we are enjoying for now. He should not remind us of the past. It was under his regime that the Christian girls were adopted in Chibok, and still this day, some of them are still being held captive. Elections of the leadership of National Assembly has never been about religion or faith. So we employ Kashim Shatima and his core travelers to desist forthwith from the unhealthy incitement and allow elected lawmakers to choose their leaders. Shaktima should, not, should note that he holds no moral justification to give that counsel even if it were to be the best counsel. Nigeria and Nigerians are calm and okay with how the elected members of the 10th National Assembly are going on with their activities ahead of the election of our leaders in accordance with the constitutional provision and extant law thereto. Hence, we advise he and his agent must let them be as it is because his counsel is not needed. The country has moved on and we do not need this. We believe that the best way Senator Kashim Shaktima can show that he is sensitive to the stability of the country and his sudden advocacy for Christianity is to humbly step down for a Christian vice president as it is still not too late. This is the best way forward now that he has found his voice and conscience until that is done. We will continue to rate Shatima as a bigot who specialize in manipulating religious for his personal interests. We equally admonish our elected lawmakers of the 10th National Assembly not to let themselves be deceived by Shaktima's Machiavellian moves. They should elect leaders that defend the interests of majority of Nigerians in respect of their faith or, or ethnicity. They should know that Nigerians have great my people now the video now on a new watch really so on a see what it happen for inside the video all right my people i would like to end the video for you you could let me know what it all at for the comment section and if you never subscribe you could subscribe so that you don't miss any little this way i upload on a my battle i call a will start by guys my next video bye guys